Hey folks, it's Brian here, and today I'm going to be working on my 1990 F350. So today's project is to make the cables that go from the battery terminal, the negative terminal, to the frame. So we're going to make these for both sides. Uh, I'm going to keep this video short and focused, uh, a little less AD and D, ADD. As with many of my videos, I will put links in the description to the components that I'm using. So if you need these, you can use those links and... Um, find these items and it will uh, iron a little commission nothing to write home about but help support my habits hobbies <clears throat> so easiest way to measure this is just put the terminal here and then once you've got your position just roll your way through I'm using number six welding wire. These are not critical, but I think a good ground is, is important. Um, the reason I say these aren't critical is that they don't carry anything other than like the headlights and they just don't carry a lot of electrical load. The battery is connected to the block, which carries the starter load. And that's, that's probably the largest load in the truck. Everything else is chump change by comparison. So this is a hammer style crimper. These work really well. You just got to make sure that it's fully inserted in the fitting before you whack it. First whack sets it and then you beat it to, to get a good set. And what that does is crushes this around the wire so it's a nice tight fit. Now, I screwed up and didn't put my sleeve on here. It's no big deal, it should fit through here. So we'll go ahead and sleeve this and then we'll go measure it on the other end. So I got this little mini heat gun that I use for this. Um, you can use a flame to sort of burn the wire a lot of times. And this is just right. These are pretty inexpensive. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Now, I'm using heat strength which has adhesive, so that seals the connection and reduces the opportunity for corrosion. It's not perfect, this is better. So if you look, you can see where the adhesive kind of seeps out in places and just makes for a nice connection. So let's go measure it and see how long it needs to be. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this, but I think the easiest way is just to put the wire in here and see where it needs to end. So it needs to end right there. And in order to avoid losing this, I'm just gonna nick it with my wire cutters. So let's go make this. So let's find where we made that nick right there. And then we'll cut it with these cutters. Uh, these are some pretty crappy cutters, but they get the job done. They're really sized for wire about this size. I'm not going to forget to put this on this time, so I'll just slide this on and leave it alone. And then we'll repeat this process here. So the idea is to just girdle the insulation and then slice it. So you can peel it off. You don't want to cut too many of the strands if you can avoid it. So a little practice makes perfect. Smooth out the wires and guide it into the terminal. I think 
think I got this right. Because there are two size terminals here, and I think that's the bigger one. Ooh, that could have been messy. So I have three eighths and quarter inch. But again, I got it right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink the other end. I'm not gonna video this. Now let's make sure. Yes, that fits. No, that doesn't. Let me go get that size wrench. I'll be right back. Okay, so hopefully this uh eh, still wrong size. Right back. Okay, so I think we're there. Yep. Now, because I have two ground cables on the batteries, I'm not real worried about this. And I'm taking this one offline. I want to be mindful of where that end is at so you don't accidentally drop it on the other battery terminal. That would get exciting. that there to remind myself that I'm not done. And then I'm going to undo this one. You know, this would be easier with a in, pick up the other lug that was here, if I hadn't left a wrench on top of it. So, this is all good to go now. Nice and tight. Nice, short, quality cable to the, to the frame. But we're gonna put one on the other side as a backup. So, let's get to that. So, similar to the other end, we're gonna go ahead and put one of the terminals on. We'll start with the big end.
So, just like the other one, we're a little bit tighter in here, so I'm actually going to run a loop. So I'm going to put it here, and then I want it to end about there, and it's not critical. I'm going to mark it with this again, and then let's go back to the bench. Wrap on it. Now, this one will be a little bit backwards because we're going to take it apart first. Oh, I want to put gloves on. So let's get this in dealt with.
tight. All right, so that's it. Now we got two solid, well-made ground cables from battery to chassis. We have many other wiring shenanigans to deal with, but they are not part of today's video. Um, so that's it for this episode, and um, we'll work on something else next. Thank you.